All right, welcome back to Technique Tuesday. Today we're gonna to talk about the Foxy and we're gonna talk about leading the rotation in the six count basic. So the six count basic itself, right? We used to call this the cradle. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. It's just like this walk, sway, sway, walk, sway, sway. So I have an easy and then a slightly more advanced version of rotating this basic. I continuously rotate it to the left, so I never turn myself to the right when I do this basic. The easy way to do it first is to just rotate when I go backwards or when she goes forwards, right? So if I go walk, sway, sway, as I go backwards here on my right foot, you can see I start to open up my body to the left as I take this step backwards, kind of getting out of her way a little bit, and then we just recover sway, sway. So I can go straight on my walk forward, and then just kind of get out of the way a little bit as I go backwards. I can go straight as I walk forward, and then just get out of the way a little bit as I walk backwards. So that would be the simplest way to do it, just rotating on the back step. Of course now I could rotate both on the forward and the back step, which is slightly more advanced, but the rotation is continuous, which is quite nice. What happens now is, as I go forward, I'm also opening up my body a little bit here to rotate, sway, sway, and then obviously I can still rotate going backwards. So I rotate going forward, turning myself a little bit, and then I rotate going backwards. Two really important things. One is for the leader, you should be able to do this by yourself, where you should be able to rotate by yourself continuously and comfortably because there's not a lot of connection work that has to happen here. A lot of your lead is coming from the direction you move your body. I'm not pushing and pulling her around to make these rotations happen, right? So I can do version one where I go straight and then turn myself a little bit here. I go straight and then I turn myself a little bit here. Or then again, I can practice continuously rotating on the forward and the back steps. The second most important thing is I don't rotate during the sways. I only rotate during the forward or the back walks. So if I do this, I can rotate here, but sway, sway has no rotation to it. If I go backwards rotating here, my sway, sway has no rotation to it. So the wrong version would be me going like this, walk, sway, sway, walk, sway, sway, where you can see I continuously rotate on every single step. It's really difficult to rotate and sway together with your partner. So just rotating on the forward or the back step, you can choose one or both together, and that's kind of your basic and your advanced version of rotating six count basic and Foxy. Okay, so for the followers, again, the amount of rotation is actually up to the leader here. So there's only one leader and one follower. Today, I'm gonna be the follower. So I'm just going to try to keep my belly button to my partner the entire time. So no matter how much she rotates, it could be just an eighth of a turn, it could be up to a quarter. We recommend not going any more than a quarter in one step. So that being said, we can start like this with our hands up, we try to keep them here. And now if we practice this together, no, ma no matter where he rotates, I'm just gonna try to keep my belly button to him. And this is gonna make it much easier for me to follow his rotation without um, kind of pushing and pulling each other all over the place. And then of course you can try in a dance position here just to kind of get used to that feeling of following the rotation. Also, it can be helpful for leading it as well. So we recommend starting with an eighth of a turn, maybe just in the backward steps for the leader, as he mentioned before, and then working your way up to a quarter turn. That being said, if you have a large height difference, especially if the leader is much taller than the follower, then less is probably better because of the size of the steps and just the natural feeling of it. So that being said, be sure to like this video if you did, subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys very soon. Bye.